So the insect hotel is all done and positioned at the end of the pond up against the fence. I'm really happy with it, it's gone really well. It's extraordinarily heavy though, I didn't expect it to be as heavy as it is. Uh, so I'm going to have to think about securing it better to the fence than I have but at, at the moment it's fine. Already had some insects buzzing around it. So I'm really happy with it. It's got the holes around the outside now, in different sizes, about five different size holes. Generally I find eight to ten millimetres is the the hole that's most used. Yeah, those mid-size range. You can see the, the big one the big holes in the uh, existing one I've got here. They've been used mainly by spiders, but the the smaller holes um, have mostly been used by solitary bees and are emptied and used every year again so I've got a, a roof on the top of it now as well to stop most of the water getting into it to keep it relatively dry it will make it last a lot longer I guess you're looking at five years probably before this starts to really degenerate but it's quite a nice feature for the garden as well it's quite attractive I guess if you recycle it, if you recycle all the wood as much as you can, you know, aside from a few nails and screws, it's virtually free. So it's, um, I imagine to buy it would be over a hundred pounds, I guess, if somebody made that. It took me about probably 15 hours to put the whole thing together. Certainly a labour of love. If you want any advice, please contact me. Hope you enjoy the videos. Thanks.